Alright, welcome back to Audio Describe Gaming. I'm your host, Matt. Playing some Ocarina of Time. I'm in the Ice Cavern. I think I have figured out the puzzle. Looked it up on YouTube, so I just need to push it these two directions. So on either extreme end of the um, room. And then push the pedestal to this side right here. Yep, and when I push it, it'll be at the long one. And now I can push it straight. And there we go. There's the end of the pathway. Good. Dang. Alright, well, I got one blue fire that I can use for whatever, so I'm prepared for whatever lies ahead. Ooh, ice monster. Alright, let me cut it down to size. Alright, there's another one. Huh. I was right. There's a big wall of ice here. So let me use my blue fire. Melt it. I am not going back for more. That is out of the question. Alright. So there's a door here. Ooh, I'm in a really cool crystalline room. So the, the walls are all like stars that are all moving in. It's pretty cool. So let's... Oh, there's a white werewolf here. A white wolfos. So let me fight it. This is this dungeon's mini-boss. Got it. Alright. So there's a treasure chest. So this should be the dungeon's treasure. Iron boots. Alright, so they're heavy, and I will sink to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, what do we got here? Sheik just showed up. We meet again, Link. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but... She left to head for the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. So yeah, oh, time passes, people move. Like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water surface reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. So this will warp me to Lake Hylia, which I have not visited lately. played this a lot, you guys. This was my childhood. You have learned the serenade of water. Link, I'll see you again. Oh, he's gonna do that ninja thing. Ninja vanish! Alright. So now we gotta get out of here. So there is still technically one room I haven't visited yet. I'm pretty sure that just has the compass in it. You know, I'm a bit of a completionist, so I might as well. Alright, so I got the iron boots on. I move really slowly in them on the surface, but underwater I move just like I normally would. And there we go. I am back out in another part of the dungeon. And let me take a look. Yeah, there's still one area. You know, I need some blue fire anyway. Hmm, there's a silver rupee in there. Interesting. Anyway, I'm going to go get some blue fire. I need one more, um, one more thing of it. Oh, so what's over here? Is it... 
Oh, okay, so this area must have the compass. Yep, there's a thing of blue fire here. There's a bat. Kill it before it gets into the... into the fire. Yay, I got some blue fire. There's a sculpture here, too. So, ooh, a heart piece. Glad I came here, because I think with one more I can get a new heart. And it sounds like a sculptula too. Yay, I just got another heart. That's awesome. Oh, I see the sculptula, yep. Yay! Alright, there we go. Let's see, what's in there? Ooh, a big treasure chest. Alright. There's some bats in here, so I'm going to clear them out. That must have the compass in it, which probably would have come in handy a lot sooner, but whatever. I finished the dungeon. I might as well get the compass just to say I did. And then I'm going to grab some blue fire and uh, take it out of the ice cavern with me. Because I need to thaw out the Zora King. Yay, there's the compass. All right. Let's see if there's anything I missed. Let me look at the map. Oh, I got all the treasure chests. Good. So let me grab some blue fire, take it with. I can also thaw out the ice surrounding the Zora Market, but I really don't care. The only thing I need is the king. Alright, let's get out of here. Leave this dungeon forever and never come back. I'm in the last little tunnel here. Okay. I'm back in Zora's Fountain. Let's go thaw out the king. I'm just gonna swim. I'm not gonna hop on this ice. So, a lot of people don't know, if you tap the B button while you're swimming, you can actually swim faster. It's like a sprint swim. It's quite nice. Alright, so I'm back in Zora's Domain. Actually, does touching the red ice freeze me? Actually, it I don't think it does. Alright, well, I just fell, but let's, let's thaw out the Zora King real quick. So, there are all kinds of rumors that you can actually unfreeze Zora's Domain. I thought it was really odd that when you defeated the boss in the Water Temple, it does not unfreeze. Um, but there is no way to unfreeze it. But let's unfreeze the king just to, you know, to do that. Alright, let's talk to him and see what he says. He's gonna give me some stuff. Oh, I've come back to life! Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. So he gave me the Zora tunic. It looks exactly like Link's tunic, um, but it's blue. So now, I can actually breathe underwater. Now, I am not going to ride all the way to Lake Hylia. I'm just going to use my ocarina. So, actually, I'm going to head back to the forest. And I'm going to fill up on red fairies. Because I need all the help I can get in this next dungeon. So, interesting fact, uh, when I was a kid, it was actually the Shadow Temple, which is the one after the one I'm going to now that I had the most trouble with. I don't really know why. Everybody talks about how the Water Temple is the absolute most difficult one. Oh, there we go. Anyway, yeah, so people talk about how the Water Temple is the absolute most difficult one, and yes... It was difficult for me, but through some miracle, I actually managed to solve it. I know even Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of Zelda, has said that the, that water temples are his least favorite to design. Um, 
But yeah, it was the Shadow Temple that I had issues with, and maybe you guys will... Maybe you guys will find out why when I play it. I don't know. I, I don't know why. It's just... Maybe because of all the weird, like, hidden walls and stuff. I don't know. You guys will see the Shadow Temple eventually. I actually like the aesthetic of it. It just sucks. All right, so Lake Hylia. So I'm here. So it's raining. Just raining, raining constantly. But there's clouds all in the sky. And the lake itself has almost drained completely. Like, the shoreline has receded so much. There's only a tiny bit of water down by the temple. So, I'm going to put on my iron boots and sink to the bottom where the temple's entrance is. And the only thing, like, one of the things that sucks about this level is I have to constantly take my iron boots on and off. Because I have to float and sink. So there's a great, like a, like a portcullis here closing me off from the entrance. But if I hookshot this old jewel right here... Um, it's going to open the entrance to the water temple. Yay, we get to do the water temple! Alright, so I'll explain how this whole thing is organized. Let me take my boots off. <coughs> Alright, so this whole thing is built vertically. So there's a tower in the center with a whole bunch of levels going all the way down to the bottom and then there are rooms off the center of the tower there's a tektite here and a lot of the areas I can hook shot to but there are a lot of places that are inaccessible to me at, at this point until I get the dungeon's treasure so let me let me just take care of these tektite monsters all right so it looks like there's a door with a key. I cannot go that way. There's a hookshot target that I cannot physically hit. It's way too far away. But there is an open area here to the right. So let me take this corridor. So just blue bricks. Just blue bricks everywhere. So there's a place where I can drop here. Alright, looks like there's a, th uh, there's a uh, block that I can move here, but if I were to pull it, I wouldn't be able to go anywhere, so let me go down this hallway first. Uh, there's just a, a portcullis here, there's nothing I can open. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to grab this block and pull it right to the edge right here yep so it's it's stuck where it is so I can't do anything more with it so let me take the boots off huh I think my plugins messed up I need to reconfigure my plugin because it's not showing a lot of stuff like in my equip screen or whatever I'll figure it out anyway so now let's drop all the way to the bottom of the temple so those tektite spider things can only move on the surface. So when I'm down here, I'm safe from them, but there's all kinds of other creatures down here at the bottom. So there's just sand. So it looks like there are one, two... Oop, there's a big silver... There are these two silver spike balls here. So there's three... So there are three ways that I can go. The fourth way is closed off at this point. So let's take this first way right here. I'm in another corridor. It looks like there's something I can bomb here. Can I use bombs underwater? I cannot. So there's a way that I can bomb, but I can't bomb it yet. There's this place with two torches right here, but of course the torches are not lit because I'm underwater. Let me go through this hallway. Oh, it's Princess Rudo, and she's an adult now, just like me. She she looks basically the same, but taller and, you know, all of that going on. And she's got earrings. Oh, you, if I'm right. Link? You're Link, aren't you? It's me, your fiancé, Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. 
I never forgot the vows we made to each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man to have kept me waiting for these seven long years. But now is not the time to talk about love. I'm sure you've already seen it, Zora's domain, totally frozen. A young man named Sheik saved me from under the ice. But my father and the other Zoras have not yet. I want to save them all. I want to save Zora's domain. You, you have to help me. This is a request from me, the woman who is going to be your wife. Link, you have to help me destroy the evil monster in the temple, okay? Inside the water temple, there are three places where you can change the water level. I'll lead the way. Follow me, quickly. Yeah, so remember she gave you the uh, spiritual stone of water as an exchange that, like, you'll marry her one day. Anyway, so Princess Ruto just went up there. This is as good a point as any to stop. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do some more later. And I'm going to go back to some of the areas that I missed, so I'll see you guys later.